an update for a while for these TP-Link devices and I just noticed that I just got them out of the box and I've used them for a while and uh, these are 300 megabit speeds but you can now upgrade the kits so they can actually perform at 600 megabits so we've done my first um, plug which is offline at the moment because we need to upgrade the second one which I'm connected to so I've downloaded the firmware ready for this so this is the latest firmware for it and these are old and out of date now so they probably don't sell these anymore so if we can click on here, go to the advanced option, we can go on the update. And because I'm doing it on a Mac, it has two files. So we need the pip file. So we need to go back to downloads. And we need to manage the WPA, which is that one there. So we need to pip the PID file. And then we need the uh, NVM file, which opens up nicely like that. So we can click on update. Now it should start performing the update. So this should take it from being a Three five hundred meg. Well, it's got a Wi-Fi speed of three hundred and a PLC, which is obviously power line speed at five hundred. So it should take up to six hundred, get a bit more speed over the um, power lines itself. So your three hundred megabits per second, which is your Wi-Fi range, uh, and the five hundred is is the actual um, speed of the power line itself. So um, once that's been added. <clears throat> should link up and we should be ready to go on that side. So there you go, quite quickly and easy. Should, it should go into a reboot and hopefully that'll be successful. So the, my very first video was quite successful on these power lines. Everyone seems to be really interested in the power line adapters and stuff. Uh, these are old adapters uh, I've had quite a while now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself uh, a new version of the power lines. Uh, and probably we're looking at see if we can get the high speed going. I think they're at a gigabit now, or it might be a bit bit faster than a gigabit. Or maybe we should just do some tests now. So there you go. So it's rebooted. So it's shown 600 megabits and 300 megabits on the Wi-Fi range itself. We can actually go onto the advanced. Um, so go back onto the basic and look at the version. We know we've got the new version number, which is right. So yeah, so that's right. That's all up to date. Um, and th this is quite a nice, this is a new tool that I haven't seen for a while. Again, it's not I haven't used this for a while anyway. And this is quite a useful tool because you can turn the LEDs on and off. You can um, do options on it like advanced options. You can set up for the type of internet traffic across this. So you can say like online gaming, internet, audio and video, uh, voice over IP. Um, so let's do audio and video. Set that over, and it'll set the, the QoS for you automatically. So you improve your video audio and if you're online gaming you can set online gaming, which is quite nice. There's quite um uh, quite a few different options I haven't seen on this year. The other utility was a very basic utility, it didn't have half of this what's on it now. But again these are outdated, so this software is really outdated as well. So we look at actually doing a review on uh, maybe an updated um power line uh, from TP Link. I do like their stuff because it's cheap, easy and easy to configure and they work um quite well so I'm very happy with that sort of stuff so um, yeah so I'm just going to sort out my other little one because it hasn't come online yet so I've got a feeling because I'm plugged into uh, a 12 way surge protector uh, that these these particular older models don't like to be plugged in um, extension cables four way adapters or five way adapters um, it needs to be plugged physically into the socket in the wall itself um, to work better that's probably why my other one hasn't come online so yeah, so that's a quick update on the firmware side and I'm going to actually get this all set up so we can actually do some speed tests with it and we'll see what sort of performance we get across it.